Hiya folks, it's me Vance here, owner and operator of the Ventriloquist Vance channel here on YouTube. And I want to take this opportunity to tell you guys what's going to be taking place on this channel within the next few months. It's now the 11th of February. Um, I think this um, video may not get on YouTube until like maybe late March? I don't know. You see, what I do here on YouTube is that I pre-make videos and then I post them on YouTube every day. That's my system. I post a video on YouTube every single day, just one video. But sometimes there are some exceptions where I post two or three videos on YouTube. But that's getting beside the point. <clears throat> Actually, this video may be on YouTube tomorrow. Um, so what's going to take place is that I voted for Donald Trump in the 2016 election. And I know some of you are looking at the screen right now going, Boo! Boo! Hiss! My only response to that is, say whatever you want, make whatever remarks and gestures that you want, but I exercised my right to choose who I thought was going to be the best leader, and fortunately, he became our president, so that's all I'm going to say about that. I voted for him because I felt that he was bold, and that he was outspoken, that he was what we needed in the White House, that he's the type of person who speaks what's on his mind, and that he doesn't play games. He does what a president is supposed to do. How can I best describe this? Are any of you familiar with the Looney Tunes show? You know, the, um, what year did it first come out? I think it was like in the middle of Barack Obama's presidency that it came out. I don't know. Sometime in between like maybe 2010 and 2015, I guess it came out. But there's this episode of the Looney Tunes show where Daffy Duck runs for city councilman of course for the wrong reasons. He doesn't care about the city, he doesn't care about the citizens who live in the city, he cares about the benefits of being a city councilman, the perks as he calls it. But when he starts to experience what it's like to be a city councilman, you know, he starts to think, oh, you know, he doesn't like it. But of course he reminds himself, you're in it for the perks. I don't think that was the best Daffy Duck voice I could do. But um, anyway, when he has the opportunity to speak, you know, it's been hours and he's infuriated by how boring and dull and how, in his mind, insane the um, city council, town, it's a town meeting, I'm sorry, town meeting goes, and he just loses it. He says, in the amount of time that you guys spoke about this and that, I could have painted the Sistine Chapel. And obviously someone was there to record a video and it got posted to YouTube, and Porky said, you, be you, you better hope and, and nobody sees this. You could be in big trouble. But then, of course, Speedy Gonzalez comes out, and he says, you are the opposite of a politician. You speak your mind. You are a breath of fresh air. I honestly think I do a better Speedy Gonzalez voice than I do a Porky Pig or a Daffy Duck voice. I swear to all the saints in the church I do. But basically... What Speedy Gonzalez said about how Daffy Duck as a city councilman was the opposite of a politician, that he's a breath of fresh air, he speaks his mind, that's how I feel about Donald Trump, and that's why I voted for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the opposite of a politician. He speaks his mind, he's a breath of fresh air, and he does what he's supposed to do, and he cares more about the American people than politics. He cares more about how his job benefits people instead of how it benefits his own career. So, around the time when Donald Trump was elected president, I received an email from the Axtell Puppet Store. You know, those of you who are familiar with Steve Axel, more than likely you're a member of the ventriloquist community, no different than I am. And I'm sure that some of you have had puppets made for you of... I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. I am so excited, you know, I get so excited and anxious when I make my videos that sometimes I just babble and I stammer and stutter and it, it's hard for me to get out what I'm trying to say, so please excuse me. You know, sometimes it's not easy to be a YouTube personality because, you know, most people, when you watch a YouTube video, you just see a guy who's just speaking to a camera, you know. And then that video is seen all over the world. And when the person is speaking on camera, it seems easy. But I can speak from experience that it's not, you know. 
sometimes you worry about, am I saying the right words? Am I putting the words together correctly in the sentence or paragraph? Am I delivering it with the right tone of voice? You know, you know, this may not be an official job. Actually, it's not a job, period. It's more, right now it's a hobby, but anyway. But just like with everything else in life, whether if it's a occupation or something similar to an occupation, but not really, it can still be stressful and it causes anxiety. So I'm sorry if I don't sound right sometimes in my videos. I'm sorry if I don't speak perfectly in my videos. But then again, nobody's perfect. The only human being that ever walked this earth that was perfect was Jesus Christ. I'm not Jesus Christ. I'm Vance Dykes. Nice to meet you. <laughs> anyway, um, so Steve Axel, I hope I pronounced his last name right. It's not Axel, it's Axtell, A-X-T-E-L-L. He makes ventriloquist puppets. He doesn't make the traditional ventriloquist dummies like the ones that Paul Winchell had and that Edgar Bergen had and some of Jeff Dunham's dummies. But he makes puppets that are made of stuffing and latex, you know? Ventriloquists like David Strassman, Nina Conti, and Terry Fader, as I've seen, they have puppets that were built by Steve Axtell. Excuse me, I just had lunch. Oh, Mother Nature is always picking the wrong time to do things, huh? Good thing I already went to the bathroom. So anyway, I received an email because I bought a puppet from his um, online store. It was an Iago puppet. I sold that puppet, unfortunately, for financial reasons. But because I made a purchase from that store, I think every now and then I get like newsletters from the company that um, say what's taking place. Like if Mr. Axel is making a new puppet, and I saw that he was creating a Donald Trump puppet. And after a few months, I decided, you know what? I want a Donald Trump puppet. And I'm sorry it took this long to get to the point, but that is what's going to take place on this channel within the next few months. I am in the process of getting a Donald Trump puppet, and he is going to be featured on this channel. I've already got a Hillary Clinton dummy that I have had made for me during the 2016 election so I could use it to express my opinions about Hillary Clinton and of course I made different videos with that puppet and as a result I lost some subscribers and one person commented saying that um, whoever you choose is your choice but if you support Donald Trump then you support bigotry and racism which is all bull crap. It's bull crap, bull crap, bull crap. I don't want to hear it. Donald Trump is not a bigot and he's not a racist. I don't want to hear it. So for those reasons I decided it was best to take the videos down but then I uploaded them well, actually, I have many channels here on YouTube, and one of the channels that I have is actually named after me, the Vance Dykes channel, and it's on that channel where I edit my videos. And then once the videos are edited, I decide, okay, they're going to be on the Vance Dykes channel, and there are some that are going to be on the Ventriloquist Vance channel, and that there are others that are going to be on the Domestic Ghostbusters channel and any other channels that I have. So... Once again, I lost my train of thought. Thank you very much, brain. You're really helpful. I'm sure my brain is saying, hey, you're the one who doesn't always eat fish. You eat beef most of the time. Beef ain't brain food. Sorry. Beef ain't brain food. Fish is brain food. Sorry, my sinuses. They're, ir they're not irritating me, but they're interfering with how I'm speaking right now. I'm sorry. So... But, you know, then I took the videos of Hillary Clinton on my Vance Dykes channel and edited them to make one video and posted it back on the Ventriloquist Vance channel. One of the reasons is because one person made a comment in one of my videos saying, didn't you have a Hillary Clinton puppet? So he noticed that, wanted to see it again. And I felt, you know, all my puppets should be on the Ventriloquist Vance channel no matter what. No matter what the content is, the puppets should be on the Ventriloquist Vance channel no matter what, so I posted the video, the edited video of all the Hillary Clinton videos that I have made, putting them together into one compilation video, and in the description I said I took this video, I took all the videos down because I was losing subscribers and I got some negative feedback about it, but now I don't care because I believe that 
my principles are more important than my success on YouTube. I said that in the description box for the video. And surprisingly, it got some likes and got some positive comments. And one of the comments was, how about a Trump dummy? That's what he said, word for word. And I told him that I was in the process of getting one, so, yeah. But from what I've been told, you know, the puppet is going to be, it's going to take about six to eight weeks for the puppet to be shipped out because they're building it right now. And um, I predict that it's going to be shipped out like maybe mid to late March, and it should be at my house late March to early April. So more than likely, it may be my Easter present. I can't think of a better gift being a Donald Trump supporter. So once I get the Donald Trump puppet, either before Easter or after Easter, whichever, when I get the Donald Trump puppet, Donald Trump is going to make his first debut appearance on the Ventriloquist Fans channel. Not the real Donald Trump, the uh, puppet Trump. You already got that, but... Oh man, I think I screwed that joke up. You know, I would say that within the next few months, Donald Trump would make his first debut appearance on the Ventriloquist Fans channel, and thinking that you wouldn't understand what I was saying, I would say, uh, not the real person, but the uh, puppet. But you know something? I think it would be cool if Donald Trump, the real Donald Trump, actually made an appearance in one of my videos. I think it would be one of the best videos that I've ever recorded. And I also think you know, it would ratings would go through the roof. Even if there would be some dislikes and some negative comments. Whatever. I think it would get a lot more views than any of my ventriloquist videos put together, like my most popular videos here on YouTube, which involves the uh, Slappy Dummy, you know, Slappy from Goosebumps, and of course my uh, Bloody Mary video, where she's singing, it's raining, it's pouring, I killed the old man so he wouldn't get up in the morning, which has been voted one of the scariest videos on YouTube. Once again, thank you, Top 15s and Chills. <clears throat> Anyway, I think it would be cool if Donald Trump really did make an appearance in my videos. I think it would also be cool if he, like, autographed my Donald Trump puppet. It would be the best autograph I would ever receive from anybody. It would be better than an autograph from Mariah Carey, Jennifer Lopez. I'm sorry. No offense to anybody, so... I'm sorry that I spent most of this video babbling and screwing up my lines and, you know... It's not my fault, it's Mother Nature's fault because my sinuses, my lunch popped up to say hello. And unfortunately, as a faulty human being, I get anxious when I'm making these videos, so I'm sorry. So that's what's going to take place within the next few months. I will let you know when I get the Donald Trump puppet. Actually, how I'm going to do it is, I'll record a video with Donald Trump and post it on YouTube. So, there you go. So, thank you for watching, goodbye, and God bless.